everyone. Good morning. Okay, uh, this is the meeting of the Board of the Fire and Police Commissioners of the Village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois. It's Monday, June 3rd, 2024, and time is probably 9 10. Uh, are we going to call the motion call the meeting to order? The roll call? Holman? Stevens? Yes. And Duncan? Yes. Okay, uh, number three. Reading of the minutes of May 6, 2024. Did write no copy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there anything to be added? Oh, I make a motion that we accept the meeting, the, the meeting, the minutes from the meeting of May 6th, May 6th, 2024. 2024. Okay. I'll second that motion. Okay. Roll call. Holman. Aye. Steven. Yes. Duncan. Yes. Motion carried. Okay. Number four. Communications. Do we have any communications? I did not. No okay. All right. So there's no communications. <coughs> we'll move right along to number five. Open the session to the public to address the board. Discussion of and consideration of and taking action. Taking action to adapt or not adapt or opening the meeting for any president to address the board. I make a motion that we take action to adopt. I'm opening the meeting for any person to address the board. I'll second. So, okay. uh, Holman, uh, Stephen, yes. Duncan, yes. Oops, motion carried. Uh, yeah. Would someone like to address the board? Sure. Are you going to? Um, Excuse me. I'm, I'm not going to stand because I have really have bad news. It's hard for me to just stand okay. in one place. Yeah, state your name. Uh, my name is Mr. Hunter. Hunter? Yes. I represent the citizens of Burnham. I just wanted to read something that's on the website. Um, I'm not even sure if this falls underneath your purview because I've never been to any of these meetings before. Mm -hmm. But on the website, it says the police department holds a monthly community meeting and encourages residents to attend to learn the various topics that are presented each month, such as crime prevention, identity theft, and many other related topics. In addition, residents are advised on what has occurred in their neighborhoods and what to be on alert for. Meetings are held on the third Thursday of every month, and the meetings are held at the Village Hall, the Community Center, and the Senior Center in, a, in an alternating schedule. Residents are encouraged to attend meetings and to get to you know your police officers. Um, I know the communities, the beat meetings went on for uh, a couple years and I thought they were fairly helpful they would kind of get out of hand and you know people would bring up their gripes and you know sometimes there weren't people there to kind of organize it properly and make sure that the correct things were being brought up but um that really hasn't been done since before COVID and uh after COVID kind of mellowed out a little bit I did bring this up at a meeting about a year and a half ago on why we don't have beat meetings anymore especially in today's times why we don't have at least oh, i'm not finished yet. Um, oh, no, 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 no. at least tell us what uh going on in our community um you know we can see it the residents can see it i can hear it i can hear a lot of things going on you know people spinning around in the middle of the street and flying down you know using a little speedometer that we put up instead of police cars you know uh, having speed radar and giving tickets I can see that I think the police are answering lots of other calls and they're really running around. I'm not saying the police aren't doing anything because I can hear it on the scanner. They're everywhere and they're answering lots of crazy calls just for piddly stuff. And my answer or my question is, uh, do you guys have any purview uh, to go and find out why we no longer have beat meetings and is there a reason for that? And if uh, <clears throat> We may continue that. That's probably more for Nick. But um, if I brought it up in a regular meeting, I can't get any kind of 
satisfaction or if I brought it up to Trustee Greer. She, and I don't think she really knows very much to help, so that's all. Okay, now just to clear up something. Our meetings are conducted the first Monday of each month. The one you're talking about is a totally different. You said it's a third Thursday, that's where it was. So I'll let the chief, I'll let the chief address that to you, but what you're talking about doesn't fall up under our responsibility. Okay, so what you want to... We discontinued that program years ago. <clears throat> we do have community service officers now. We did it because we were short-handed at the time. Uh, we have employed more people and we are looking for uh, new community, community policing techniques. Um, and you'll see that shortly. And I do have an open door policy if you ever need anything. So. Well, you think they stayed on the website for years? You think it's like show? Yeah. So no, I don't think so. Uh, I was unaware that it was not there. your responsibility. Yeah. I know it's about time it is. Yeah, but I'll look into that. Absolutely. At least for the website purposes. And then, you know, we have the community meetings, um, the yeah. national night out, everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how to get a hold of me anyway. If you have any questions, I or I do. Yeah, whatever you guys need, I'm here. <clears throat> okay, is that. Oh, wait. You done, here? Yes. Okay. Hi, my name is John Hyduk. Uh I want to say that. Uh, the police fire department, the main reason I'm here, like I told the Colonel as I walked in, I've spoken with him, I've gotten to know him a little bit, Rick Stevens I got to know, and they seem like they'll listen to you and they care. That's the main, I really don't know you, so I'm, it has nothing, no effect on you. I don't know you that well either, so having said that, I got your guys back because you guys got ours, okay? That's the main reason why I'm coming here. Secondly, long story short, this is concerning the police pension, uh, I get nowhere talking to the board, the regular board, when I come in here. Um, I want to say that the Maria Pappas recently sent out, Treasurer of Cook County, recently sent out an email to most everybody on Friday. I got it. It says, here's why your tax bill tells you about government debt and pensions. Well, my first thought is, I'm sure you guys have gotten these things and because your real estate tax bill, uh, it has the... Um, mosquito abatement, it's got the park district, blah, blah, blah. It's got the village of Burnham on there. It's got about 10 different uh, places where the tax money goes. The only thing that has not changed, village of Burnham, since 2017, we're talking about seven years now. I, have, I couldn't find 1650, but at least seven years now, the village of Burnham's figures have not changed on our tax bills. How much we're in debt to them or anything. You can't get any information when you come to the meeting, and that's why I'm coming here now. I don't even know if it's under your guys' purview, if you guys have any insight. I'm sure you know where to look. I certainly can't get any attention. That's why I'm here now. But I can also tell you, two years ago, I was texting back and forth with uh, Trustee John Camp, and he told me, I still have the text from him, he told me that the only debt that we have is Burnham right now is the police pension fund. That blew my mind and I said, so the police pension fund is the least important? He says, no, that's just where all of our debt was. I'm assuming that hasn't changed at all either in the last two years because he stopped texting me. I've been blocked from basically everybody in the village. They won't return calls in the clerk's office. I've left messages. They don't pick up the phone for my number. That's kind of why I'm here too. Um, also concerning the audits now, 2021 is the last available audit that we have for Burnham. I tried to get 22. Can't get it, nobody will contact us back. The mayor, like nonchalantly the last couple meetings, has said it's on video. He says, uh, I, I have no idea where the audits are, what's going on, we'll, we'll let you know as soon as we get them. Sorry, it's really not good enough for us, but again, that's why I'm here. Uh, I understand that the auditor is currently waiting for, Mr. Polk says he's waiting for the auditor to come to him. Okay, he says he can't, like he's helpless. I hear the audit is the auditor is currently waiting for the police pension disclosure from from the mayor. So I, I found out about this this about our EPA loan. Okay. The mayor said it was the EPA. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No. Okay. I said we, you know we had to cut it. You said three minutes. I mean get to the chase because well, just what you're saying that really doesn't it doesn't fall up under the. The police Lord. pension fund doesn't fall in the purview of you guys? No. no. That, like you said, everything you said, it goes straight through 
the trustees and the mayor. And that's the only people we have to rely on? Yes, because we don't we don't deal with the any the suggestion direction. where we could go other than a lawsuit trying to get the information from them. Well it wouldn't be my privilege to get I don't have any information where you can go, but like I said, the source is through the mayor and the board. Because right now the only difference between Burnham and Dalton is Dalton has more media coverage. That's it. You can't get any information. In the police pension fund, like I say, we're blinded by it. Okay. Maybe Nick can have some insight. I don't know. Yeah, okay, like I said. It, That's it all I had to it say. It doesn't pertain to us, and it doesn't fall up under what our responsibility is. I was hoping it would. I didn't know what fell under you guys. Yeah. Excuse me. If you go before the Better Government Association, give them a call, they have the steps that you have to take to help perhaps solve this. But if you listen to what's going on in Dalton, you understand that it's a request and then an action to take care of the request. Right now, all of the facilities that are sending information to Dalton, they're not getting any reply. And of course, I think that's illegal, but I don't know how to deal with it. Either. Right. Okay. But you've got to start with the BGA. The Better Government Association can give you the exact, look, the exact ash, actions you have to take to get it done. But if you watch Dalton, it's kind of scary. Right. It's kind of scary. I think what needs to happen, you need to put a FOIA request in with the right information that goes to the right people. Nick, I tried that. They give me nothing. They see it's, it's, they give me legal mumble jumble, which I don't understand. They don't tell us anything. I've tried that over and over and over again. And you have copies of anything that you had uh, sent in regarding the police Sure, department. but it's all legal mumble jumble. The clerk knows that. I'm sure the stuff goes through her. The way she, I asked about the, the audit last meeting and she suggested that everything's in order. It's right now, it's just a matter of your opinion. Well, the last audit we received was 21. Just like, by the way, Dalton hasn't had one since 21 even. We're a little version of Dalton. Okay, all right. At this time, like I said, we uh, we do ready to close the meeting to the public. Okay, thank you, Rose. Like I said, they would brought up some good points and things, but like I said, just thank you. I make a motion. I, I make a motion to, to close the meeting. Yes. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Page number six. Closed session to, to the public to address the board. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to adapt or not adapt on a closing the meeting or any person to address the board. I make a motion to take action to adopt and closing the meeting for the person to address the board. I'll second that. Okay. Holman? Aye. Stephen? Yes. Duncan? Yes. Okay, motion carried. Okay. Number seven, unfinished business. Do we have any anything? Can I chief? I have nothing at this time. Okay. All right. Number eight is new business. Discussion of consideration and taking action to approve or not approve on the full-time Burnham Police eligibility list.
Malik, Malik, S H A I K A L. I don't want to mispronounce her. Sikali. It's seventy nine percent. Okay. Now these are the final key, final two names that are on the list. That's correct. That's right. Okay. Okay, make a motion to approve. Okay, I'll make a motion. Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, just make a motion to approve the full time burn on waste color bill of G. Yeah, that was you. Yeah, the way it'll be. Okay. My motion. Need a second. Okay, second. I second the motion. Okay. Okay, Coleman, Stevens, yeah, and Duncan, yes. Okay, most of okay. So let me ask you a question. Have you made oh, any contact with these, uh, the ones on the list? Or third, right? what we I did. I made contact with them. One will not be moving forward in the process. The other one is waiting for the next phase of the process. Once they pass that phase of the process, then I'll come to you as the board where letters can be sent out. And uh, for approval if we get that far. Okay. One pick and up there. My bag. My bag. Okay, do we have any other interviews that need to be taken? I do not. No. 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 Okay, at this time, may we now make a motion to observe the meeting? I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. 935. Second. Thank you, Jeremy. Oh, me. I'm sorry. Go to Holman. Hi. Stevens. Yes. And Duncan. Yes. Okay. She is adjourned. Okay.